Hello, today I will present how to get data on website step by step by iMacro. First step we must to check elements of HTML at point as we want. In example I want to get title product first. I'll right click at title and click to menu inspect element. You will see section inspector showed. And see the blue tab is current in HTML in example blue tab current in tag H1. Okay, now we know title stand in HTML name H1. I will press button record I macro and click at title and press stop button. Go to file hash current dot em. Right click and click edit macro. I will delete texting line number three. OK, now you will see iMacro record tag H1 from the page. After that I will use command extract equals txt after last word in line 4 and press save button. We will test iMacro code. I will click hash current.em and go to play button and press this button. Now, we will see alert pop up in the pages show text title. OK, our code is works. Now, I will put command set extract test pop up no in file hash current.em. And in line 5 I write command prompt extract. Don't forget curly bracket and command extract. See example in video. After that run code again. Now you will see pop up from prompt command is show text title products. OK, I will put command for save text to CSV file, line 5 command wait seconds in 5 seconds. And line 6 command save variable from extract to example.csv file. After that test code again. Now iMacro can save example file to directory success. I will open this file with LibreOffice program. We can see title product was saved. OK, I will close this file. So every time open CSV file by LibreOffice or Microsoft Excel, after run iMacro you must close CSV file first. If you don't close file first, iMacro will be can't save every data to CSV file. OK, next step I will try to get item specific section in the page. Same last step. I'll right click and point as I want and click inspect element menu. We will see this text stand in span tag, but we want all of text in this line. So I will move focus to parent node. That is li tag. 
So, we will see all LI tag cover all text as we want. Back to hash current.emi will copy line 4 to line 6 and paste in this file. See example in video. After that I will edit code line 7. Ok, before next step I want to rename file to example.em. After that I will press record button and click on brand name and type in the page. Open hash current.em file and edit value in type from span to li value in attr i edit from old text to attribute id value product prop asterisk. And write command extract equals txt to this line. After that I will test this code. If you see pop-up show in the page and in pop-up must display text brand name mom's hand showing that our code is working. I will open file hash current.em and copy code in line 4 and replace line 7 in file a example.em. After that test this code and see result in example.csv. You will see that the information has been added to the file. But new data is not in the same line. Ok, hold on to this step. Back to axample.em file copy code line 7 to line 10 and passed a new line and edit code for next li and do it again for all li in this section. So we must remember iMacro cannot distinguish difference of each li tag. 
so we will use the difference between position of li in the page set target point for i macro get data. We must change number of tag pos in i macro cx sample in video.